you had some opportunity to look at some other guys. What do you see from your depth at the tackle position? And is there anybody that you feel confident in at this point? Uh, I really feel confident in, in Lawrence and John. <laughs> and uh, the young guys are getting reps during this season. There's going to be times when somebody's going to have to step up, and, and they're getting challenged every day. When you go against Daddy and uh, some of those guys out there, Corey, and, and it, it's, it's a challenge. And, the kids are getting reps. They're getting a lot of work, which is good for them. I myself would pr prefer to have the continuity, having five guys in there all the time. But uh, it, it's going good. Schumann was kind of a guy that, I might be wrong, he could play right or left yes. and maybe be next man up. Are you preparing somebody to be the next tackle up, or is it going to be that's as a it's work right? In, that's a work in progress right now. And uh, there's a few guys, Wade Hanson coming over from defenses. He's really done a great job. He's worked hard. Uh, Parker Ostolo. Freshman, uh, um, Doug Dynasty, Cole Pettit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those kids are, you know, they're scrappy kids and working hard and they're doing a good job. Does he like that nickname, Doug Dynasty? Well, he's got a long beard like those boys, he might as well. <laughs> what has Hanson's, because uh, obviously he did just come over, what's his progress been like and what do you see there? I'm really pleased with Wade. Uh, he's a natural competitor, one, which you like to add. He has good feet. He's got good hands. Um, when he's not thinking, he's a lot better uh, as a player, and he's trying to grasp our offense. You know, the first day, you, you just throw him out there and say, hey, block that guy, and, and he naturally does it. Then I start coaching him up, and uh, it goes to crap. So I said, just do what you can naturally do. But the kid's going to be a good player, and he's a competitor. Do you feel a little bit better just in terms of the number of bodies you have at the guards and, and interior spots? I think so. Uh, you know, you got quite a few guys. Augie's been consistent all camp. Uh, Caleb and uh, Caleb and David have both done a good job in there. White's got a lot of work in there. Uh, Austin Smith. You you you've got plenty of bodies to get it done. It's just who's going to be the most consistent. Does losing this scrimmage? I know you, you moved Saturday and Friday. You're not going to do Wednesday. Having one less scrimmage does that hurt you in your evaluation of finding a starting five? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think it gives a gives the kids a, a day to get fresh to, to play it like a game. And that's what you want to see when the lights are on, uh, to compete and play fast. You know, last, last scrimmage we had, uh, I was really pleased with the way the guys competed. They played with effort, they played with toughness, and when we were on that field, that they played their tails off for us. Some of the days I weren't, wasn't that pleased. So uh, I'm looking forward to it again. It gives them a day to get fresh. Uh, we have really grinded hard so far. And uh, I'm looking for an energetic uh, get after it scrimmage on Friday, right? Yeah. Friday, yeah. Are you pretty settled then with your with your starting five, or any of those spots still? It sounds like the tackles here. Uh, it's it's still a little fluid right now. It's still fluid. We're, we're still working it out. Just uh, getting the right guys in there, getting everybody healthy, and uh, we'll be okay. Caleb, pretty locked in at the center. Caleb's done a great job at center. I think he's played better at center. Uh, then he has a guard, uh, so pretty much. So it's the two guard spots maybe that are a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and you'd like to have uh, two guys that can start it and a, and a, a third guy that can play uh, center and guard. You'd like to have three tackles like you're talking about. Who that third tackle is and who that third guard is is a big question. What's allowed Austin to, to make that position switch and, and to improve so much over the course of a year to where he's you know in the mix for a starting job? Austin Smith? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great kid. He, uh, he studies the game well. And, uh, you know, he's got a, got a few technique things he can get better at, but he works hard and he's a great kid and he, and he cares about the game. Did you ever block his dad? No. no. And I wouldn't be able to if I tried. <laughs>